What's up, all you crypto enthusiasts out there? MetaBoss, man with a crypto plan, coming at you in this one. And we are going to talk about MetaHero. Uh, I've seen some people talking on. Uh, I've just seen some people talking. They think they've been worried about the sideways trading. They think, well, it's. Uh, I, and I think they're losing hope, right? They're losing hope. They think it's never going to moon. It's, uh, it's going to take some time. I mean, some sideways trading is uh, good, but. Uh, with that said, I'm going to be having a 188 giveaway, and you got to subscribe to be part of that. So if you want to be part of that, yeah, you heard it. You got to subscribe. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the video, and let's get into it. Disclaimer, guys, this is not financial advice. And here we are, guys, with MetaHero. We got MetaHero, the one that got me into this, that first love, the one that I have a really special, a special love for. MetaHero is my, is, is my favorite crypto to hold because it is the most solid bet that I have, and I'm going to continue to hold it. So... Let's get into the price. Let's check the price. The price is now at 12 cents, right? So we've been trading sideways for the longest time. Let's look at a month. It looks red. It looks like shit. It's like three months. Here we go. Like three months ago. You look where we were. We were at three cents. And then we we're back up to, uh, we, were, we shot right up to 13 cents. And then we traded sideways at 10 cents. What happened then? And we shot up to 16 cents, 17 cents. Came back down. We traded sideways again. We came down to 10 cents. So we traded sideways to 10 cents again. And we're back up to 15. And then we came back down. And we've been trading sideways to 12 cents. So what's that going to tell you, right? I mean, look, you have a leg up here. And then you come back down a bit, a little bit of correction. And you used to trade at 10. And you come back up here, you're at 17 and a half, and you trade sideways at 10. Now you come up here, 15, and we're trading sideways at 12. Each time we start trading sideways, we start trading a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. It's only a matter of time before something comes out, some big news or something, and uh, Matty Hero goes up again, and then they're trading sideways at like 15 next time. So. It's a little, it's, it, this is like the healthiest growth I've seen in, in the crypto space. I've never seen growth like this. Uh, it, very rare have I seen growth like this. You see it, but very rare. And to me, this is really healthy growth. And it's just, it's slow and boring. Uh, and I, I get it. it it's, you want something to happen. So do I. I want it to go. I want it to just break out. But here we go. We got some news here. Like, we are thrilled to announce that the MetaHero is partnered with Blocktopia. So here's some of the news. Maybe this is going to shoot from this. Maybe it'll pop from this. Uh, opening a virtual MetaHero store in the Metaverse. MetaHero blockchain. Let's go back into the start of this. Pretty small video, short and sweet. It just, it, to me, that looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty damn cool. We'll check out the website too. So let's check. And here we have Blocktopia. I mean, this is a cool looking environment. Look at this. It's like a cyberpunkish looking, looking crap, man. Looking shit. This is cool. And this is the partnership. Like there's Jake Paul, like I've been mentioning. Oh, uh, look, this is actual in-game footage too. So this looks like cyberpunk, but you're actually walking through this world and interacting with it. This looks to me like to be one of, some, one of the coolest things ever. Like a decentralized metaverse built and backed by Polygon. So even Polygon. So it's one of the uh, most innovative cryptos I've uh, that's out there right now. Um, 
Introducing Blocktopia, the home of the crypto. So Blocktopia is a skyscraper made of 21 levels to play, rec to pay recognition to 21 million Bitcoins. Token holders will know, will be known as Blocktopians. They will act as a central hub. Like so, basically, you're going to be. It's going to be a world. You're going to be able to go in there. You're going to be able to create, learn, and explore and earn. And you're going to play. So this is pretty cool, man. To be partnered with. Uh, Basically, the most innovative, the most innovative scanner in the history of time, and be able to partner with these guys. It's going to make this shit blow off the chart too. So, this is another one to look for too. Blocktopia. I guess that that one's another one that's going to probably shoot off the charts too. Like, but we'll have to see. So. What is the metaverse? Bring an NFTs to life. The metaverse is the bridge between physical and the virtual worlds within the decentralized and open source virtual world. So it's bringing, basically bringing the open source visual world into the decentralized. The cryptonic, cryptographic protocols will emerge for managing detailed value of digital value. For example, digital, oh my God, digital art and real estate and advertising space. It's it's going to be like uh, jumping into your own little world here. You don't have to go across the world to to visit a place you've always loved. Like, oh, the facilitators that make this happen will be NFTs on the Polygon. So you're going to be able to to travel, traverse in this world, walk around, meet new people. Is uh, yeah, this is going to be cool. Relax, socialize, and have fun and compete. Users can compete, play games, entertain friends, and network through a truly immersive first-person perspective of a, virtually, a virtual reality world. So you got your own little world that you're walking around traveling, and you're talking to people, people across the world that you may never have met. But you're going to see them in this digital world. And with MetaHero's ultra-realistic and ultra-3D um, scanner, it's going to make it it's going to make it so amazingly realistic and detailed. It's going to be so freaking cool. And the one thing that I think that it's going to be a big hurdle for, for Meta Hero is being able to bring the, uh, I would guess the, the size of the files down. That will be their biggest hurdle. If you can be able to, comp if you could compress those files, cause they're enormous. They're probably in the gigabytes with the, with the amount of detail they have. Uh, so, uh, to be able to compress, if they can compress that and make that more manageable, that is going to be probably, uh, to me, would be their biggest hurdle. Uh, it's just memory size. Because those things got to be vast. They have to be massive and, you know, and just so huge. <laughs> if you if you got a file like that, it's not going to be hard. It's not going to be easy to move that shit around. So... Is, when they figure that out, that that is, I think, to me, would be the biggest hurdle, and bringing on new investors. Since they, like, bringing on new investors shouldn't be hard for Rob. He's been doing it all along. And so, and here you're gonna create, you're gonna create scenes, artwork, challenges, and more. So you can even create your own video game and put it in in this world. Uh, and using, if they're doing that using the meta scanner, that's gonna be such a cool looking game, man. Uh, yeah, this is a, a nice partnership. This will, this to me could be a catalyst for shooting, uh, for shooting MetaHero to its next level. I was like Bitcoin or BitBoy. <laughs> but yeah, shooting, this could be the catalyst for shooting, shooting, uh, yeah. Meta Hero back to the up to the next leg, up to the next leg. I'd say I'd say the next leg would be probably I could see it shooting up to eighteen again, or even an all new all new high again, and then settling back down to fifteen, maybe sixteen cents. That's that's my prediction. It's not financial advice. I never give financial advice at all because I'm just a guy behind a camera. I'm just a guy on YouTube. But uh, yeah, you got to do your own due diligence. Anytime you look at a project, you got to do your own due diligence and. Uh, it's it's all on you, baby. It's not on anybody else. It's all on you. So if you fail, it's you. If you succeed, guess what? It's you. So it's all you, man. With that, stay cool, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. <laughs>
Thank you.